I've been digging through my Glasgow workshop and finding all sorts of random experimental LED signage from the 90s. And this is one of them. It's uh, basically a 5 by 7 panel. Is that 5 by 7 Yes, it is. Where each pixel is 4 LEDs and it has its own resistor. And it was designed not to operate on 12 volt D DC, but to actually to operate on 12 volt AC. Uh, there is a phone number down here. It's uh, obsolete now. I got rid of the landline a long time ago mainly because of the amount of uh, telesales marketing coming through. But this is a, uh, <coughs> yeah, from 1999. Interesting. So it's got the bridge rectifier in the back, and it was designed to just run off the 12-volt AC power supplies. And the reason AC was chosen over DC was simply because, back then, beefy 12-volt DC power supplies cost a fortune. They're much more common now with the switch mode power supplies, um, the little plug-in ones, the wall warts, uh, so that, uh, you know, if I was redesign this, I'd design it for the 12 volt DC. But back then it was 12 volt AC, designed to use halogen lighting transformers, so reasonable enough. Um, the next exhibit was a somewhat scaled up version of that, on a 9 by 13 matrix. And here's your challenge, why did I use the letter R to test this circuit board? See if you can work that out. But again, it's the same, but it actually had the bridge rectifier built on as discrete diodes and was just designed to take a, a bus bar of wires just tacked along. This was a 2002, this one. And this is basically just a, a large parallel array of the pixels with the four LEDs and a resistor. And it was really, back then, it was designed for the standard two volt type LEDs, the gallium arsenide and gallium phosphide because they were typically 2 volts, and uh, the four of them in series made up to about 8 volts, and uh, then about 4 volts was dropped across the resistor. But yeah, this is this is actually quite a nice panel from the distance. It's a very smooth, clean letter. Then comes the weird, freaky thing, the circuit board I found. This one. It's quite interesting, the way it's got the circular pixels. Again, it's a 5 by 7 matrix, but I was looking at the back of this and I didn't initially twig. It's a prototype, so there's uh, little bits patched here and there where uh, the tracks have not quite etched out right. Although it looks pretty good. Uh, there are a few notable things about this. It's designed to operate from rectified mains. And all the pixels are basically just, uh, you can see the link wires. All the pixels are just run in series. And if I doodle the circuit for this out, Notepad. If you can imagine a string of fair lights uh, or Christmas lights where you've got the uh, live and then you know you've got the lamps in series and typically in the UK for 240 volts we'd have had 20 times 12 volts. That's more or less what I've used here except that the mains is rectified and each of these pixels represents a 12 volt pixel and because I was playing a lot with the um, 5x7 matrix of the LED type stuff, I noticed that uh, an awful lot come to around about 18 LEDs um, per, you know, 5x7 array. So all I did here was uh, each circuit was basically just, each of these pixels was basically just uh, three series circuits of the LEDs. And the same again, just all wired in series across the rectified supply. And I'm uh, guessing for maybe for um, maybe for lower pixel counts, I use, was going to use extra resistors or just increase the value of these resistors to drop a little bit higher voltage. But certainly it meant that on the circuit, uh, on a typical um, four volts being dropped at 20 milliamps, they'd only be dissipating, each resistor would be only dissipating about 80 milliwatts. So, interesting enough. Weird, but interesting. 